Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your Windows 10 computer is freezing and becoming unresponsive even when it's in system idle mode and there's nothing going on in the background. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. What we're going to start with is just right-clicking on the taskbar and select Task Manager. Select the Startup tab. If you notice, there's a lot of programs in here besides your antivirus, so not including your antivirus, but just other games or applications in here. Consider turning them off from starting up when your computer starts up. So in order to do that, just select the application and select Disable. Please keep in mind, even though you're disabling it, doesn't mean that you can't activate it or use it when you're in Windows. It just won't have to start up every time your computer starts up. So it might be slightly quicker when you're trying to launch an application if it's already starting in the background. But generally speaking, you really don't need just about anything in the background nowadays, in my opinion, besides your antivirus software. So, and then maybe if you're using a cloud file storage, perhaps it's syncing up to your computer or something like that. But generally speaking, most of your startup items in this list can be disabled. And then when you restart your computer, you shouldn't notice a faster boot time as well as less resource consumption in the background. Something else you can also try here as well would be to open up the start menu and type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC followed by a space and then forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter in the keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, I would recommend closing out of here, restart your computer, and then hopefully your problem should have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.